It's time to transform your life by leaving aside the identity of the observer and embracing spiritual awakening. Explore how this powerful concept can help you change your reality and connect with the divine. In the vast landscape of spiritual awakening, it's imperative to deeply contemplate the role assigned to the observer. Initially serving as a guiding principle, this identity may have provided a stepping stone for our journey. However, as we embark on a more profound exploration, we must recognize the inherent limitations that associating exclusively with the observer brings. The simplicity of our existence can become obscured when we overly cling to this identity. In the pursuit of a comprehensive awakening and a transformative shift in identity, it becomes evident that the observer, though a useful concept, may inadvertently act as a lens distorting our perception of reality. The question emerges, does this identity hinder our ability to experience the full spectrum of existence? Let's navigate through the layers and intricacies, aiming for simplicity and clarity in our understanding. As we contemplate the essence of the observer, it's essential to acknowledge its initial utility. At the onset of our spiritual journey, identifying as the observer might have served as a valuable tool, a focal point directing us inward. However, growth demands a reassessment of tools that once served us well. Holding on to the observer identity, though comforting, may hinder the evolution toward a more expansive understanding of self and reality. Consider this, the observer, in its traditional conceptualization, implies a separate entity perceiving and analyzing the world. Yet, the beauty lies in realizing that this distinction is not a universal truth but a construct of the mind. It's like peering through colored glasses. The world appears differently, shaped by the tint of our perceived identity. The observer becomes a filter through which we interpret our experiences. In our journey to unravel the complexities surrounding the observer, simplicity is our guiding star. Let's not obscure the profound truths with convoluted narratives. Instead, let's delve into the heart of the matter, the essence of our being. The observer, rather than an external entity, is an intrinsic part of our existence. It's not an addendum to who we are, it is the very fabric of our beingness. As we continue this exploration, consider the observer as a compass guiding us back to ourselves. However, a compass, no matter how reliable, is not the destination, it merely points the way. Similarly, the observer is a reference point, a tool to initiate self-reflection. But as we navigate further, we realize the limitations of mistaking the tool for the destination. The observer is not a stagnant point in space, it is a fluid, dynamic aspect of our consciousness. To truly comprehend the limitations of the observer identity, we must embrace the fluidity of our journey. It's not about discarding the observer but understanding its evolving role. Just as a river reshapes its course over time, our understanding of self must adapt and flow. Let's explore this shift in perspective with a lens of simplicity unraveling the layers to reveal the essence of our existence beyond the confines of the observer identity. Deconstructing the Illusion of the Observer As we embark on the journey of spiritual awakening, the concept of the observer beckons us to delve deeper into its intricacies. While acknowledging its significance in redirecting our focus inward, we must unravel the layers that have the potential to veil our perception of reality. Let's explore the very essence of the observer and its transformative role in our understanding of self and existence. The path to enlightenment often introduces us to fundamental concepts such as You are not your thoughts, you are the observer. This axiom acts as a guiding light, steering us away from complete identification with our transient thoughts. However, as we navigate this terrain, it becomes apparent that the simplicity of this guidance may belie a more profound truth, a truth obscured by the mind's tendency to create tangible images. In our attempt to grasp the observer, we must be mindful of the mental constructs we inadvertently erect. 
The mind, in its quest for comprehension, tends to fashion images and identities, creating an illusionary observer. Picture it as the mind painting a portrait of the observer as a separate entity, distinct from the observed. This visual representation, though seemingly helpful, is a fabrication that requires dismantling. Consider this analogy. When we look in a mirror, we see a reflection. The observer, as traditionally perceived, is akin to mistaking the reflection for the real self. It's crucial to recognize that the observer is not an entity standing apart, gazing at a separate reality. The simplicity lies in realizing that the observer is not an imagined figure, but the very awareness with which we engage the world. To further demystify the observer, let's reflect on its role as a tool for self-reflection. Just as a mirror aids in examining our physical appearance, the observer facilitates introspection into the realm of thoughts and experiences. However, let's not confuse the tool for the self. The observer, like the mirror, is a facilitator, not the essence. It guides us back to our true nature, but it is not a destination in itself. The illusion of the observer as a separate entity can impede our progress on the spiritual path. The mind's propensity to create narratives around this concept adds layers of complexity that hinder a direct and unfiltered experience. Imagine shedding these layers, allowing the simplicity of existence to shine through. The observer is not an additional layer. It is the clarity that unveils itself when we strip away the illusions. In unraveling the intricacies of the observer, simplicity is our ally. Let go of the mental images, embrace the direct experience, and recognize that the observer is not a distinct entity observing. It is the pure awareness that breathes life into our every moment. By deconstructing the illusion, we pave the way for a more authentic connection with our true selves and a clearer perception of the world around us. The Essence of Being the Observer In our exploration of spiritual awakening, understanding the essence of being the observer is akin to unraveling the fabric of our existence. This pivotal concept, often conveyed as, You are the observer, serves as a beacon guiding us towards a profound truth. Let's delve deeper into this truth, peeling back the layers to reveal the simplicity inherent in being the observer and the transformative impact it can have on our perception of reality. When we hear the declaration, You are the observer. It's paramount to grasp that this assertion isn't an invitation to envision a separate entity. The simplicity lies in recognizing that the observer is not an additional thing in the grand scheme of existence. Rather, it is the very core of our being, the thread that weaves through every moment of our lives. Consider this analogy. If life were a movie, you wouldn't be merely watching from a distance. Instead, you are the screen itself, the canvas upon which every scene unfolds. The observer is not a spectator in the conventional sense. It is the awareness that brings every experience to life. Picture it as the unchanging backdrop against which the dynamic scenes of our lives play out. To further simplify this concept, let's envision the observer not as a separate entity, but as the unifying force that permeates all experiences. It's not a thing observing, it is the very act of observation. Imagine being immersed in a vast ocean, and every experience is a ripple on the surface. You are the ocean and the ripples are the myriad facets of your existence. As we delve into the heart of being the observer, it's crucial to recognize that this essence is not an imagined state but a direct experience. The mind may attempt to conceptualize the observer as a tangible figure, distinct from what is observed. Yet, the simplicity lies in acknowledging that the observer is not an entity positioned somewhere. It is the here and now, the immediate awareness in every moment. In navigating the intricacies of this concept, let's dispel the notion of the observer as a separate thing altogether. Instead, embrace the idea that you are the canvas upon which the masterpiece of your life unfolds. 
The observer is not a distant figure surveying the landscape. It is the very landscape itself, intimately intertwined with every nuance of existence. To deepen our understanding, consider the observer as the silent witness to the unfolding drama of life. It's not a protagonist separate from the plot. It is the silent presence infusing life into every character, every twist, and every turn. This realization brings forth a simplicity that transcends the need for elaborate mental constructs. You are not just observing. You are the essence of observation itself. In essence, being the observer is not a complex role but a return to the fundamental truth of our existence. It's a recognition that the observer is not a separate thing trying to understand the world. It is the very understanding, the pure awareness that illuminates the tapestry of our lives. Embracing this simplicity opens the door to a profound shift in perspective, inviting us to experience the richness of life with newfound clarity and depth. The Transparent Nature of Reality As we navigate the spiritual landscape, understanding the transparent nature of reality becomes a key element in our journey. This notion challenges us to reevaluate the solidity we attribute to the world around us encouraging a shift in perspective towards a more fluid and dynamic understanding of existence. Let's delve deeper into the concept of transparency, exploring how it unravels the illusion of solidity and unveils the dreamlike quality inherent in our reality. To begin, consider how our perceptions of the world are often akin to viewing it through a lens. This lens, shaped by our experiences and beliefs, tends to solidify the objects and events in our lives. The transparent nature of reality invites us to remove this lens, peering beyond the perceived solidity to recognize that what we deem as real is, in essence, a dance of energies and phenomena. Imagine reality as a vast, transparent canvas, and every experience, every thought, and every sensation are brushstrokes painting upon it. The simplicity lies in realizing that this canvas is not a rigid surface but a dynamic space where everything flows and interconnects. The transparent nature of reality invites us to witness the interplay of these brush strokes without attaching undue solidity to any particular form. Analogously, think of reality as a dream, where appearances are much like the fleeting images encountered during sleep. The dreamlike quality of reality becomes apparent when we recognize that the solidity we perceive is but a temporary and illusory aspect of our experiences. This realization is not a dismissal of the richness of life but an acknowledgement that, at its core, reality is malleable and ever-changing. To simplify the understanding of transparency, let's envision ourselves as the sky, and the various elements of our experiences, thoughts, sensations, and the external world, as passing clouds. The transparency of the sky allows these clouds to come and go without leaving a lasting impact. Similarly, the transparent nature of reality invites us to observe the ephemerality of experiences without clinging to their perceived permanence. As we explore the dreamlike quality of reality, it's crucial to recognize that this perspective doesn't negate the significance of our experiences. Rather, it encourages us to engage with life from a place of awareness, understanding that the solid forms we encounter are transient and, in essence, insubstantial. Embracing this transparency frees us from the constraints of rigid perceptions, allowing for a more flexible and open interaction with the ever-changing tapestry of life. Let go of the idea that the world around us is a fixed and unyielding entity. Instead, embrace the transparency that permeates every aspect of our reality. It's not a call to dismiss the tangible experiences but an invitation to perceive them with a discerning eye, to recognize the dance of energy and form without getting entangled in the illusion of permanence. Experiencing Oneness Beyond Imagination as we embark on the exploration of spiritual awakening, delving into the concept of experiencing oneness beyond imagination opens doors to a profound shift in perspective. This principle goes beyond intellectual understanding, 
inviting us to engage with life in a way that transcends the limits of our imaginative faculties. Let's delve into the essence of oneness, simplifying the understanding to reveal how it transforms our relationship with the world around us. Consider oneness not as a distant concept but as an intimate recognition of the interconnectedness of all things. It's akin to realizing that each wave in the ocean is an integral part of the whole, contributing to the vast expanse of the sea. The simplicity lies in acknowledging that, in the grand tapestry of existence, you are not a separate thread but an essential strand interwoven with the entirety of life. To grasp oneness beyond imagination, envision life as a symphony, where each note contributes to the harmonious melody. In this analogy, you are not merely a single note, you are the symphony itself. The recognition of oneness invites you to listen to the melody of life, appreciating how every element, every being, plays a unique role in the grand composition. Let go of the notion that oneness implies homogeneity or sameness. Oneness, in its simplicity, is the celebration of diversity within unity. It's like a garden where various flowers bloom, each with its distinct fragrance and beauty, yet collectively creating a vibrant and harmonious landscape. Oneness invites us to revel in the unique expressions of life while recognizing the underlying unity that binds all. Consider the analogy of a dance where each dancer moves to their rhythm, yet collectively, they create a mesmerizing choreography. Oneness is not about conformity, but about embracing the diverse movements and expressions within the dance of existence. You are not a solitary dancer, you are an integral part of the dance itself, contributing to the fluidity and beauty of the cosmic choreography. As we navigate the terrain of oneness, let's not confine it to abstract ideals. Instead, simplify the understanding by recognizing that oneness is not a goal to be achieved but a truth to be realized. It's not about merging into a vague and indistinguishable unity. It's about awakening to the shared essence that underlies all apparent differences.